complete barrier screen so nobody can see you. Yeah. Pay no attention to it's, the man behind the screen. The, it's something I'm like, of all the Gygaxian things, there's, I actually, I buy the idea that DM rolls all the dice or whatever else, like more, but the whole, I'm behind a wall and I speak through a letterbox. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a, definitely that, one of the weird ones. That's a deep Hello, affectation. welcome to Gutter Stars. Yeah, it's, it is a deep cut. Uh, welcome to Gutter Stars. This is um, the final episode of this adventure for our Spelljammer crew. Um, in an adventure which uh, I, I've always been naming, not that they've known, Slavery and Plagues. Um, but yeah, this is a sort, of, sort of an epilogue episode, I guess, for this adventure, given that the this is the falling action, we'd call it, in book terms. Um, and it's certainly, falling is definitely a relevant term. Uh, Tom, do you want to tell us what happened last time, episode 7, Bloodbath? I think the title really... Uh... Uh, really tells you most of what you need to know but um, we pursued uh, some suspicious characters into a graveyard and after fairly deftly if I say so myself dealing with some guards around a structure in the centre of the uh, graveyard uh, we were then confronted by uh, a, an evil wizard uh, evil at least certainly we thought by dint of the fact that he was attacking us um, and though eventually the party managed to overpower said hit. wizard and his goons, it came at the cost of both Major Remington Smythe, Stipe Sheafstack, and Faust the Goat's lives, and Flynn Manley barely escaped with his own. Uh, well, no, Fa Faust survived. He dropped to zero hit points and so just got up later and uh, walked home. Of course he did, lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, get get Gil, Gil Timor in um, the rear guard of the party, uh, meeting up with the rest of the party afterwards has <laughs> discovered this. And the three of them, the three survivors, have gone to bed back at the Red House. Uh, the corpses of their friends, I think, were left behind at the Temple of Ptah. Uh, after, along with the those children they'd rescued, and one adult Dowar actually as well from the cell of this uh, this well the gravekeeper's cottage but which is actually being used as a chain men hideout um yeah they've they they went to sleep they've woken up and there are a couple of things to sort out upon waking up but one thing that they uh, did uh, wake up to was chorus ormond a bounty hunter legendary bounty hunter and hired gun sitting in a chair in the corner of their room um waiting for them to wake up uh his uh, his words as as um, Fussful and Flynn and Gil Stir um, were to the effect that essentially um, he needed, you know, we're going to have a conversation and the conclusion will either determine whether or not your friends would get raised or whether you'd be joining them. No pressure. Uh, before that, though, could you all roll a d100 to see if you contracted uh, Melingra's cholera in the last day? <laughs> Is, is, is this how it ends? <laughs> Gil rolls an 80, plus rolls a 13, and um, Flynn as well. I need a D100 from you. Do you not want to roll from me and Tom then? No, you're, you... I don't uh, think the You're currently can lying dead in the Temple of Tower. <laughs> yeah. You're currently, your reserve characters are Stipe's Stew Animals. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the stable. <laughs> this, to be fair, to, Tom did briefly play Faust, miss with an attack, and then just get totaled by the counterattack. I think I would say one thing that Stipe missed in his summary was that Fussful uh, did kill, at, I think, what was it, three enemies last time? Am I right? In, is that the right count? Uh, several. Yeah, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, he, you backstabbed the outdoor guard, then the major headbutted an indoor guard as the doors opened but then you were left alone fighting one more guard and uh, a priest of bane and uh, yeah you you <laughs> went full tonto and took them all out uh, so you are your appetite for blood is sated uh, <laughs> this morning it was uh, yeah, death, death and glory and um in this particular instance uh, glory yeah was result, which is pleasing I was going to say you you did you, you did say uh, you said to me you like uh, you were you were wondering oh should I just run because obviously like I'm outnumbered they're quite tough 
and uh, you made a decision that you were, <laughs> yeah, uh, going to take them out or die yeah. trying. Yeah. Which, and I think that the the uh, proof in the pudding is that you know you did take them out. Mm-hmm. So. All's well that ends well. Um, well, <laughs> apart from anyone who's dead. <laughs> well, well, I, 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 I don't hear the major complaining. <laughs> Yeah, it's what he would have wanted. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Someone's going to get his ass so I thought it was a I haven't made a token of this guy yet, but we can have a picture. And uh, here's Chorus Ormond um, with his uh, hand crossbows and uh, swords and the like who is sitting in the corner of your room. Uh, his uh, weapons are out, and not pointed at you, but, you know, very easy to point at you, one suspects. Uh, so, yeah, he has said, to repeat that, he has said that, uh, um, yeah, he, he wants to have a conversation with you to see whether your friends get raised or whether you go and join them. Do you, um, do you normally start conversations with threats like that? <laughs> Is, is is this some uh, um, <laughs> some etiquette I've missed or something? He, um, he he says, which of us has a hand crossbow pointed at the other? Y- you do, which is that that seems much like a threat. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, I I I see. Um, I guess Gil is, you know, <laughs> still still sat on the hamster, just kind of raises his hands. Yeah. I think for uh, Fistful on his Fistful recent... Or... Well, with Fistful's yeah. recent run of good luck, um, he's weighing up the situation, thinking, could I have this one? But um, he's, uh, as a... As a uh, a bounty hunter, you know, he's well aware of this guy's reputation and thinks he'd better better try and talk our way out of this one, as, mm. as challenging as that is for, for Suffol in most circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> I will negotiate with the human. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn, anything from you? Well, considering I was literally on death's door, I can't do anything strenuous. I think I just mumble... <laughs> Adam. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, he'll, I, he'll look at, at Flynn and be like, ah, oh, looks like you'll be joining your friend soon anyway. I, I think I literally can't fight him, so uh, I think we have to have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we get very lucky. Yeah. You know? No, if, I, I, I think we definitely don't want to fight him. You know, kind of Gil, Gil, Gil looks over to Persephone and kind of, you know, big eyed mo- movements and like, you know, tries to, don't, don't, don't fight him. We don't want to fight him. <laughs> but if he starts, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to sit down and take it. I currently have a hole in my stomach. So. Wow, I wonder we, what that's like. Please don't if, fight. If we do start fighting, hide underneath the hamster. <laughs> Yeah, N- Nibbles uh, shifts slightly round and kind of looks um, around at uh, at Chorus Ormond, who is not vegetables, and so he's not interested. Um, yeah, he'll uh, uh, he'll say. Um, so uh, Sasha said she uh, told you something. Lady Sasha said she said something to you about who she was and where she is from. Uh, did she? Yes, she did. She. I'm trying to remember because I watched the VOD and kind of was only half paying attention to it. But she she told us, uh, she is like someone related to the prince and lives in the palace. And I can't remember exactly who she was. I think that was it. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, completely role play that you don't have any idea. It's, it's like no some, some, if someone's he's worried about us knowing too much, then he can relax. Yeah. 
<laughs> Who's our Murray? We're idiots. <laughs> Who's Sasha? Oh, I don't even remember. Um, yeah, she'll uh, uh, he'll raise his eyebrows and um, say, uh, uh, I, "I like the attitude, but I want a bit more assurance." Well, there's there's a lot of politics going on there. I see lots of people, you know, lots of things relating to people with power and prestige, of which we have not much of either. Um, <laughs> now, nah, I'd, I'd like to say I'm a simple man. I've got, you know, I, I like I like a warm bed, and and, and a, you know, the tall, tall, tall mug of ale. Uh, you know, I'm sure there are, there are you know solutions here that, I you know, I, oh, we don't need to die. I don't really want to die. I guess you know, you've done you've you've done a gears before. We can, can we even talk about this? Like how much can we even say? No, you this, can talk about what. Good. No, you, you can talk about what's happened since because remember what you were sworn right. to related to what happened, the discussion in the temple. So for the discussion, so, so we can't. We couldn't say, for instance, and McGill tries to say something and, and probably fails. Um, yeah. But I could say that we rescued this child who lives in the temple. Yeah, I can see why that. I mean, can't you just gear us again? I don't really want to die. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we rescued a bunch looking... of missing children. Oh, yes, definitely. And children will say all kinds of things, and you should never take them seriously. Uh, he'll, he'll look curious and kind of, he'll be musing and say, uh, I hadn't thought of that, perhaps that's an idea. Um, it, he'll uh, say, <laughs> he'll put he'll point to the door with the hand crossbow. <laughs> That is loaded and uh, sprung, like as in his, his, his sort of hair trigger, and uh, he'll he'll gesture slightly, you think wildly, um, towards the door, and he'll say, uh, "Well, if we go to the Temple of Ptah, then I'm I'm sure I could uh, swing a favour for this." Yeah, unless I guess that'll give us time to come up with maybe a better idea if we don't want to get geared, but. Do, do any of us have, you know, political interests or aspirations or anything that would find this? Well, I think he useful? he'd be willing to get them to resurrect our friends, right? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. I'll woozily stand up and say, uh, "I'll go. Maybe I, I might need a piggyback ride." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come here, and then and Gil, Gil will <laughs> sling you over his shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, Gil is quite strong, so... Yeah, yeah, Gil, Gil is a full-on muscle wizard. You know, like like yeah. like most most wizards have like baggy robes, his are like tight or something, like he, he, he looked ripped in his I imagine it's like a tank top wizard robe. <laughs> it, it didn't have sleeves. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, it's like it's like when you've got uh, like, like, like kung fu movies where you've got the top half of their robes like tied around their waist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, man, this looks like Bruce. It's Bruce Lee, but a wizard. <laughs> Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee yeah, with so a wizard. So it slings uh, Flynn, who is, yeah, uh, Flynn, who is somewhere between uh, Bertie Wooster, played by Hugh Laurie, and <laughs> um, Han Solo over his shoulder. Um, and yeah, yeah, I guess you you uh, head off. Uh, uh, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, uh, you feel like you're immune to any. Uh, one in six chances, 16% chances of things happening as Cora Sormond rather brutally walks behind you uh, across town. Are the streets like surprisingly quiet? Like like people look at us and then suddenly turn the other way? Or... They, they become quiet, yeah. <laughs> it's not that they are quiet, it's that they become quiet. <laughs> they see a man apparently kidnapping others and they're just like, yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Uh, Nothing to see here. I mean, this was a place you managed to get away with having a multi-round uh, duel in the street with <laughs> with that guy. So It took there. like almost a minute for the guard to turn up. After... It took minutes actually for the guard to turn up after we set off a bomb. No, it took several minutes. No, they were walking down the road with it taking minutes with them visible and not hurrying. <laughs> uh, no, they uh, they had no interest in, in getting in the middle of a fight between uh, noblemen. But... Just... Oh, that was yeah, that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um. oh, 
how is it? Sprite City. Let's see how uh, good. So I'm just finding some city music and. Uh, because uh, the, the, this is but the How the Sausage is Made, Fred Boat, which I've been using for music, I discovered today in Knowing Sports YouTube as of the last two weeks. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we will find out uh, if the alternate platforms are any good. Uh, but yes, I guess one thing it'll mean is we don't get copyright struck for <laughs> using um, proper music. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh man, sorry, completely off topic. One of the things that's come up under the search for Fantasy City Abbey, and, and this is one's for Jamie, is Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Battle in the Forgotten City. Nice. <laughs> that definitely will get you copyright struck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know, yeah, do you know what? Definitely will. Um, yeah. Even mentioning it. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, Bandai Namco are already sending hit squads out to me, yeah, like wetware androids, somewhere. to kill me. Um, yeah, this is dreadful. Um, okay, anyway, uh, you are heading through the city and you arrive at the Temple of Patar. Uh, you, let's say you do not smell the rotting corpses of a gif and a halfling from here. You probably, to be fair, were you not at the? Um, maybe you were at. The, had you been taken to the Church of Planar Olympus? I think was where you'd actually been taken. Uh, it becomes apparent that uh, your bodies have been moved here as Chorus uh, herds you in towards uh, the temple. Um, Kagamni, who is the guy that you know, that you've met before, uh, is is here um, waiting. And uh, uh, he says, ah, uh, Mr. Ormond, uh, you've brought uh, the friends of those we're going to resurrect then. And uh, Chorus says... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a gears first though. <laughs> um, and Kagami kind of just frowns and not frowns like negatively, but just confusedly like, oh okay, you know if that's what if that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I think I think we've been had. Uh, uh, yeah, Co Co Chorus says, uh, whispers in your ear, Gil. Uh, uh, he actually throws his voice like he's still about five feet away, but his, ear, his voice is just in your ear and says, do you think you would have noticed if we hadn't turned up? <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, and then, then uh, he says, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're just going to um, basically do a gears for what happened in, you know, in the incident. And Kagame says, oh, well, Okay, uh, sounds good. And uh, he says, uh, my superior, who's going to the raised dead, can do that too. Uh, we'll have to do it f uh, first, though, because of um, how tiring uh, the raised dead will be. Uh, so we will have to do it in that order. Um, he says, so kind of sympathetically to to the so others of you, because he's like, you know, actually, that has to happen that way. So we can't even tell our allies what, what happened. Well, I mean, we can. We, let's have the let's have it be a narrow thing. Yeah, right? like pres presumably it'd be okay if we tell people that there's like, you know, there was a priest of Bane in the city. Yeah, we just we just yeah, won't no. say who the yeah. who the girl was, um, which I'm fine uh, with. Cor Cor Cora says fine by me, um, and he says, and your friends don't need a gears; they don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, but before uh, before we do it. Mr. Orman, I have to ask a question. Your employer... He looks at you uh, sceptically. Is she yeah. seeing anyone at the moment? <laughs> uh, Gil, Gil, Gil drops Flynn on the um, floor. <laughs> Kagamini steps and says, this is a place of peace and sanctuary. Uh, uh, and uh, Chorus says, don't worry. If I need to do anything, it can happen elsewhere. I bleed gently on the floor. Of his beautiful. <laughs> yeah, a, a wound reopens <laughs> from where you were taken down. Uh, was it? What were you taken down by? Was it by? Were you? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Who didn't someone get taken out by? Um, cause light wounds. That was me. Uh, but, well. That wasn't me. I think yeah. I was just stabbed, like normal style. <laughs> yeah, just, just regular. No, I was going yeah, to say stabbing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Two of you were just taken out by swords. Um, yeah. As was Faust. Uh, so yeah. He, w he will, um... Fine. Oh dear. Hopefully he'll get back. What's this? Uh, Andrew's just Andrew dropped. Has 
disappeared. Oh, yeah. Oh, Andrew's gone. Sorry. Yeah. No, I hadn't noticed. Well, I mean, the mage is dead, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, did you just go and finish the job? <laughs> He's not allowed to yeah. be here anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah and Andrew's just harakirried his own character because he hates it. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, Kagemi will take you through to the, the senior priest in, in, in the same kind of side shrine room before the place, which had a uh, a metal screen behind which uh, he's just back on line on this called, um, he, who was there. Um, but this time it's not set up with loads of smoke and a metal screen and a dais, uh, but uh, just the, the two bodies are on the dais instead. And uh, they're on beers uh, in um, white robes. Um, the, the major, you have the sense, you, there looks like a big fresh seam line on the major's robes, inverted commas. You get the sense that possibly they've been chopped together and uh, <laughs> like, just stuck on his corpse. And uh, Kigamely goes to the senior priest and whispers to him and he says, Ah, yes, I suppose that does make sense. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll turn and, uh, I, again, kind of tell you of the condition of the Gaius and to receive your... Um, so it's basically so you don't take a saving throw, essentially, to receive your consent for the conditions that you, specifically that you cannot speak of either your employer, who you think your employer is, or um, anything that Sasha Mornlight, well, a anything about uh, the blonde girl you rescued or what she told you. Uh, yes, I'll agree to exactly that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do, do the Gaius, and then he will uh, res um, he, uh, uh, along with an assistant. A uh, second priest will um, cast raise dead because we're both with it. Is it within twenty four hours in both cases? And I think raise dead is seven days. Uh, will raise the major and Skype. However, that is not as simple as they are alive yeah. because they have to take a con check. And they have to have their resurrection survival checks. Right. What are your resurrection survivals? I'm 90%, so let's hope so. Yeah. Good 98%, odds. so the odds are good. Uh, where's the button? So is it percentile dice, is it? It's a D100. It's D100. Do I roll each. it? Uh, yep, you roll it. You each roll for yourself. The major is almost certainly up because I doubt he has um, oh. eleven con. I'm rolling, which would be one of the dice. Oh yeah, <laughs> now, how convenient! Forty-four. It's really I guess surprising how many natural twenties you get. How do what? Sorry, what? It's amazing how many natural 20s you get with this system of rolling dice in person. You think the amount I cheated, I'd actually ever get a natural 20. <laughs> yeah. If I'm cheating, I'm doing it very uh, effectively. What have you rolled, Tom? Uh, 44, so yeah. I think I... Would... Very bad at cheating. 44. Uh, yeah, they, they each come to... And let's check if there are any other conditions on uh, on that. Fifth level spells um, is what we want. Uh, raised dead. It must be whole or otherwise missing parts are still missing when they're brought back to life. Uh, ills such as poison and disease are not negated. If you'd had Malingra's Cholera, you would have woken up with Malingra's Cholera. <laughs> Savage. That sounds awful. Uh, you lose one point of constitution. Oof. Furthermore, you're weak and helpless in any event. You need a maximum of one full day and rest for each day or fraction you were dead. So that'd only be one. You're actually ironically better off than Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have one hit point when raised and must regain the rest by natural healing or curative magic. Your starting con is an absolute limit to the number of times you can be revived. Uh, they, yeah, the somatic components, um, the material components, not somatic, are uh, used... <clears throat> Oh no, somatic is a pointed finger, that's it. It's a VS, it's not material. So they are pointing at you as you rise. The reverse of this spell is called Slay Living. Crikey. Um, <laughs> if the save is successful, it does 2d8 plus 1 points. If you fail, you die. Wow. <laughs> that's... It's just Finger of Death, isn't it? Or is Finger yeah, of Death the, pretty... <laughs> the, the reanimate? <laughs> Um, 
hi James in the comments uh, yeah great uh, so you're you're alive <laughs> Um, to, to what yeah, I, I, you wake up major you're wearing a uh, a great monastic shift made out of several other monastic shifts uh, Stipe you probably have one that fits you as you wake up on these beers in in a room you faintly recognise but there's daylight streaming in and you're not sure where you recognise the room from am I in like your friends are standing there am I in like robes of patar type monastic gowns yeah, you've got like a yeah. You are you are essentially naked, but for that, Stipe is glad to be alive, but a tad uncomfortable that he's been raised in another god's temple, mainly because he knows he's going to catch no end of trouble from his um, <laughs> his guy at the uh, the Plainer Church of Olympus. <laughs> yeah, because they think you're dead. Uh, the major, by the way, has gone offline. Again, so the major is just staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Some degree of shock. <laughs> pro yeah, probably start quite to see weird. Your friends for... surrounding you. Aren't, aren't GIF like atheists or something? I don't think they have a particular god, at least. I thought there's something about them and, and no, no gods. <laughs> they can't be clerics. Let's have a look. GIF. I'm just looking in CGR1, Complete Space Ferris Guide, on this. Uh, they're non-magical. They use weapons of any sort. Uh... Yeah, I don't, it doesn't immediately say something there. Might in the Monstrous Compendium, kind of uh, the sheet for them. Yeah, I think that's oh, the major. Okay. Major, you're alive. Yay! Uh, you've been so shocked. <laughs> you've been so shocked. You've been several minutes. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my internet at the moment. I think the loot is dying or something. But yeah, I'm not dead. <laughs> it's a death's door in uh, in D and D terms. It's minus one hit point per minute. Mm. Uh, so yeah, you wake up uh, surrounded by your friends and Fussful, um, and uh, next to you is Stipe on a, on another raised uh, beer or, or platform. Um, last you remember, you were in a in a gravekeeper's cottage being stabbed. Oh, guess we won. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we see. I don't think we say you won, Major, but yeah. Was I on the winning <laughs> side or the losing side? Well, you died. I think I think that, you know. And then we won. Well, yes. We won. Did we find the children? We did it. We returned everyone. I don't think there were any unaccounted for. So we... All the children. All we the saved children the day. we found. We found all of the children. Gil said a few times, nodding and winking. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, but, I, I, I don't understand. Why, why are you winking? Because, <laughs> uh, because, um, we, What's we, had a, you? we 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 <laughs> had a, a a visitor this morning, a Mister Ormond. Um, he was, was someone just standing in the room, still armed, <laughs> staring at you. He um he was unhappy with a thing or two that we might or might not have heard from someone we might or might not have saved. Winks again. Um, I'd say Gil begins to feel slightly ill as he says this. <laughs> uh, uh, Co Co Chorus uh, looks at Stipe and says, uh, My patron uh, arranged for your resurrection given your sterling work in uh, fulfilling the job assigned to you. Well, then and now we should be able to afford at least a second room. Oh. <laughs> I mean... She couldn't have just bought our silence. You, you, like were, a given, moment, you were given, yeah, you were given three hundred GP um, by uh, the Temple of Patar last night. I'm oh, gonna buy yes. the whole boarding house. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really actually increase my money that much because I, I got quite a lot on the ice last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
The reason that Gil wasn't allowed on your stealth mission is because he has literal bags of money hanging off his, yeah. <laughs> off his belt. Is that another 300 gold each, did you say? Sorry. No, no, it's, it's 300 50 gold, gold each. Yeah, 50 um, each. Including the sparks. Mm. Okay, so yeah, last time, uh, the Major made uh, 87.5 GP, uh, XP out of everything. Flynn got th <laughs> 1047, Stipe got 77.5, Fistful got 1447, and Gil got 50 because Good I credited the, um, he still got paid. Because, yeah, uh, Stipe and the Major were not there, nor Gil was, to split the uh, stuff that the two thieves stole from the uh, Gravekeeper's cottage. It was glorious. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to go uh, in fact, there's a random generation. I think we did this on stream. We did it. We did it on stream, didn't we? But there, I generated the uh, hoard and like just mm -hmm. the rolled crazy gems. There's very little actual gold. It was like 880 gold pieces in gems that were on these people. Um, mm. I'm gonna go train, and uh, as soon as I am not bleeding uh, onto the floor, yeah. And I'll be level two. Yeah. Though, I mean, the real money, here's the real money, guys. Uh, when I write my memoirs, it's going to be a big deal, a big hit. And because remember, we specifically agreed to not speak about who we uh, who we rescued. So, you know, a couple years down the road, the uh, Skype starts eyeing Call us <laughs> <Cole is> nervously. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get the manuscript all, all uh, fixed up. Yeah, go, go. Uh, yeah. Uh, chor chorus will say uh, uh, to Kagamni, "Well, uh, I think we're sorted here. Thanks for uh, doing everything. My patron will, um, of course, uh, pay you handsomely for the residuum of the contract." And then we'll turn to uh, Flynn and first for the rest and say, um, uh, "Maybe I'll see you again. It depends, doesn't it?" And uh, turn on his heel and leave. I, I, I think Gil will wait until he's like, you know, out of sight, and then a minute more, and then say, "I, I really hope we don't meet him again." <laughs> I don't like waking up to people pointing crossbows at me. I, I, I'll shout after him that if I wasn't nearly dead, I'd have a witty retort. <laughs> well, well, well done. <laughs> Yeah, your stuff, your 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 gut aches as you say that yeah. <laughs> from the healing wound. I... Uh, is anybody up for a panini? Uh, yeah, k k <laughs> Flynn, Flynn, you need like bed rest and broth. <laughs> Soup and a sandwich sounds like it would uh... <laughs> it would do the trick. You didn't report me as dead, did you? Uh, uh, I don't think we visit. No, we didn't visit uh, oh. the majors. I don't know where he's from. Is 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 there like paperwork for that? If you had, there'd be just so much to sort out for like tax papers and oh. Still, it sounds like you forgot. So why not? We, well, we didn't get around to it because it happened like last night. So. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten to it. Well, I don't know. I was busy being dead. Well, yes. You're gonna don't worry. We were going to throw a lavish funeral. Yeah. We were already planning. It was going to be a really big deal. Uh, it would have been beautiful. Uh, I would have said something. <laughs> I would have something. gladly attended. <laughs> and I think I think what we do is we we'll just like push you off the edge of the rock. Is that is that how it works? Is that what we do? Yeah, with... we, we we I don't think we could have like, him, like an actual yeah. grave plot. We just so, sort of yeah. roll you down yeah. a slope until no, you fall it... off the edge. Plus bad memories of the graveyard. Yeah, on the jetison. No yeah. traditional gift funeral. What what is a gift funeral? Jump yeah. out. Well, you you would put my body into some sort of boat or similar, and then explode blow it up with cannons. <laughs> Very messy. I don't even know where we do that. Beautiful, <laughs> moving. There's a lake right over there. We could do it in the elven forest. We'd break in and set off an explosive inside. <laughs> in hindsight, the watch does tend to get antsy about that. Possibly for the best. 
Well, maybe uh, now I can finally peruse this book we got from that crazy guy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yes, the, the uh, Luskio's manuscript. You've got an evil cursed tome you're going to start reading. Well, I think it's just more more like a, a madman's <laughs> manifesto. But mm. all I'm saying is when the dead start rising from the ground to claw to our eyes. So Kevin Luskio's name is Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> don't, there you go. don't read it out loud. Ah, capital. Read in your head. Yes, I, I can read silently to myself. It's... Yes, I have the ability. I genuinely don't know what my uh, um, major does. Okay, I guess you... Where, where are you going from the Temple of Patar? Where, yeah, where are you going from the Temple of Patar? Uh, we're going to get paninis. Um, Kagami will give you... I get, Kagami will give you your stuff back to the to the dead, given that right, you arrived here with it. it um, yes. Probably, I mean, Flynn's clothes as well. There's a, a variety of ruined clothes with fairly serious stab wounds in them. And to be fair, Stipe's clothes are probably fine. Uh, I say that. Stipe's clothes are completely untouched. Stipe has a very cold shoulder, though. Like, your shoulder is does not feel quite right, Stipe. I'll have to buy new clothes, but that's okay. We have the money. I, we can afford... I'll get an even rufflier shirt. How much money do we have? Uh, like well, for each, each got 50. Whatever you had, plus 50 gold. Okay. So, still not enough for armor. Oh. Sadly not. <laughs> um, Stipe, uh, as a peasant cleric, isn't really allowed to have very much gold. Or rather, he's just like not, doesn't have much use for gold. So, I think he's going to take half to give back to his farming community and then basically. Uh, just if, if anyone wants to buy armor or anything like that, he'll just give it to them. I mean, my armor is ridiculously expensive, so that wouldn't actually cover it anyway. <laughs> so I'm like, huh? <laughs> you want? <laughs> uh, perhaps I, I can hold on to that uh, in, in the group's trust. Yeah. I would. I need a men's extra, extra, extra large. Yeah, yeah cool. Sky, Stipe will just give over the rest of the gold to, uh, to Flynn then. Yeah, I think I think a move is in order. Uh, Stipe wants Sorry, to go I... and check on his animals, uh, crops and Faust. I think my Discord was yeah. They're, well, they're back at the red house. They're in the stables there. We, we can hear you now, um, Alex. Yeah, gold was being shed out. How 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 much? Is there a share for me? <laughs> You're a bit quiet. You're not too quiet. Oh, uh, no, 50 I, goals. I, I think the I snatched the, up. Yeah. yeah, I snatched up Stipe's oh. extra gold because uh, <laughs> I plan on, yeah, I plan oh, yeah. on there. moving us to a better housing situation. Yeah. Why? It would take too long to explain. You'll just have to trust me. <laughs> I mean, uh, so so going back to the red house. At least, at least Stipe won't do. Um, yeah, cop so in terms of city rooms per month, uh, poor rooms are six silver. Uh, that's excluding food. Um, it's two silver per week where you currently are, so it's forty. It's one point four gold monthly. Uh, whereas for uh, common rooms, so that would include like a suite with multiple rooms in it and stuff, it would be <clears> twenty gold per month. And common food is three gold per week in and in. I'll go rent us out a a, a floor in an, in mm. an inn somewhere. Whole floor. I'll, you guys can stay. Uh, perhaps, perhaps see if there's anywhere near. Like I don't know who. <clears throat> I'm thinking if maybe we want to like you know make friends and live somewhere nice. So like maybe somewhere near like Houston or Brodick or you know somewhere we can rely on the neighbors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like good idea. I don't think we know too many people in the city yet, but yeah, I mean, we just we just make friends everywhere we go. Um... <laughs> but if if, if nothing like... if nothing else, living near the temples <laughs> would be nice, and House and Brodick seemed like good people. 
Yeah, um, I think that section of the city is pretty expensive. And then I think the gift were over here as well. So like somewhere like here-ish shouldn't be too expensive. If yeah, yeah, that's about know, where anywhere. House Nebrotic was. I think they 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 were like up there. Mm -hmm. So if we, you know, go a little bit away, so we're not like, you know, in a four foot house. <laughs> See, see if there's anywhere around, mm. you know, near, near the, you know, maybe, maybe there's a warehouse um, going gift cheap. town and house maybe, maybe, maybe there's a warehouse going cheap that we could just buy. And oh, it might, it might have holes in it. Into a house. It yeah, might have yeah, holes yeah, in it. Give, well, that's why it's going so cheap, you know. It's a fixed Imagine... rubber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> Um, I mean, we should have an encounter check uh, for you to get back to the Red House, given that's at least where Stife is going. So, whilst yeah. you're planning your uh, your future career um, yeah. of where you live, maybe you should check that. Uh, so, who wants to roll? Oh, I'll cool. do this one. Yeah. Like, you guys haven't rolled anything? That's on a five. Yep, that's fine. You will make it back across through the kind of top of the middle city down into the the lower city and uh, to where Gertrude is uh, is waiting for you. And um, well, I mean, have the major and Stipe changed back into their their own clothes? The majors are quite bloodied, of course. Stipe but... will have, yeah, or, or before what? leaving the temple because again, wouldn't want to be seen by the plainer church <laughs> acolytes <laughs> wearing patar mm. robes. Yeah, I think I want to get my clothes laundered um, first. They're currently covered in blood and have a massive... Do they have a hole? Yeah, they do have a massive hole in them, all stabbed. <laughs> they do have a hole, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think I need to get mine washed and stitched first. I guess I'll just wear my Moo Moo of Batar. <laughs> yeah, you... you, you... Come in and Gertrude's like, all right, yeah, uh, well, well, welcome back. You two obviously had an adventurous night, not coming home last night. And then we'll look at the major and say, uh, a very religious night. Oh, I was on a mortuary slab overnight. Terribly sorry. Uh, he'll say, uh, ah, is that what they're calling it these days? I wouldn't speak so harshly of, of, uh, of someone who takes an interest in you. What? <laughs> Uh, she'll uh, she'll t she'll touch slightly and walk off, and you hear something about uh, he's too old to be uh, to be uh, treating women like that, and uh, disappear <laughs> into the kitchen. You know what? I think I'm okay with moving. I think she's gotten gotten you and Flynn confused, Major. <laughs> <laughs> so about that property on the abandoned warehouse district. <laughs> Um, the yeah, uh, there's not lots of in in terms of very close to House Nebrodok, which is up by the Temple District. There's not lots and lots of inns exactly uh, there. Um, there are places if you're looking for somewhere nice in the Middle City, it's like somewhere a bit more central, um, which is seems to be what Finn was saying. Um, then there probably are is somewhere. Uh, let's say. The Golden Helm is only a tavern. Um, so I'm just looking for you in the middle city, and I'll work out how close I can get you in terms of places that are okay. Um, so just north of the Great Market, um, so not not super close to House of Product, but just north of the Great Market, there is the White Galleon, which uh, you could rent a floor from. Uh, apparently, a mysterious uh, trader rents the top floor of that one. You'll have heard. That sounds better than what we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but like, a, you know, a tent in the elf forest would be better than what we have now. <clears throat> Maybe not true, but you're entitled to your long opinion. Um, the white galley is there. Yeah. We got the uh, thing. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess you're going to be here at least for the recovery of the two, 
the two who are have been rezzed. Um, whilst you are there that day, um, you, Gertrude will come and knock and say that you have a visitor downstairs in the common room. Uh, armed visitor or non-armed visitor? Does he have any crossbows? <laughs> um, <laughs> she'll say he's got two arms but one leg. <laughs> Gertrude, of means or uh, 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 or not? Do, do we know anyone says, missing a leg? I... Yeah, the old man. Right? The old, the old says, guy, yeah. Oh. I like him. Yeah. She says, I, yeah, I, yeah. I believe he's some sort of peddler. I, no, I hope you've no, not invited no. a commercial traveller here to meet you. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're commercial fighters. I'm not sure you have any room to judge. <laughs> Um, uh, it, she, I, I, I'm say, actually a man of leisure. <laughs> I'm not sure what she actually knows about us at this point. She seems confused. <laughs> let's go. Let's go talk to this uh, this peddler. Shall we? Um, shall we invite him upstairs so we have a bit of privacy and so we don't have to get all the injured people downstairs again? <laughs> well, we have to get a one-legged man upstairs, otherwise. Oh, I can. I can. I can give him a hand with that. I can carry him up. No, Major, you need bed rest. You died. You literally can't, Major. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, you others, um, uh, please, I I'll, we'll await him here for his audience. You uh, go, go fetch him. Stop bossing Flynn, over me, you old uh, woman. Flynn, Flynn, you're not my commanding officer. Would you like to rephrase that? Oh, it was just a suggestion. I'm sorry. I'm so tired from being stabbed. Yes, yes, yes. Major, give Flint's him a call. Still out you. You. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my throat. He was wounded in the line of duty, dear boy. Um, yeah, so the. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, a little while later, uh, you actually hear a few sets of steps on the, on the stairs um, and uh, a knock upon your door. Yeah, Flynn, Flynn will open it. I guess Flynn, Flynn is playing the gracious host today because everyone, it, it's either Flynn, first of all, or injured people, right? Or well, first of all. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he uh, could be welcoming if he tried. I'll, gr I'll greet the guests and, uh, yeah. and then we'll see. Yeah. Greetings, As welcome to our extremely you, uh, humble them. abode. <laughs> I'll have to apologize if I don't get up. I was okay. stabbed slightly last night. Don't um, mind the hamster. Uh, stepping into the room. Yeah, stepping into the room, you see um, first uh, uh, first old man star and then following uh, young Jackson, um, who uh, looks around and then looks with his eyebrows raised in some shock uh, as he sees the major and um, Stipe. And uh, he'll, he'll say, you were dead. Oh, it takes more than that to keep me down, little lad. They, they got God. better. He says, there was like a hole in your chest the size of a fist. Merely a flesh wound. <laughs> True uh, heroes cannot kind of be kept down by mere death. <laughs> they, they definitely can. By being stabbed in the chest. We are uh, old man still like quiet boy. We we yeah, caught the attention they're, they're, of some they're... some powerful people apparently. Um, yeah, old man still raises his eyebrow and uh, uh, and say say something to the effect of uh, um, uh, someone we've met before, perhaps. Don't worry about it. You'll you'll <laughs> learn all about it when you read my memoirs. <laughs> Um, he, he, he'll like, uh, yeah, never been much for a reader myself and, uh, come in and stop, stump along and, and sit down and Jackson will come in too. Um, and, uh, yeah, old man star, uh, will, uh, will pause for a second and then say, uh, I'm not very expressive man most of the time, but, uh, you've got my gratitude and he'll nod very vigorously and you can see like there's actually some emotion on his face he doesn't sound like it and he's kind of physically very contained 
uh, but he looks quite emotional. Um, and uh, Jackson um, is sitting there and uh, looking at his grandfather. Uh, well, it it really was. It's what we do. We couldn't leave the boy there, could we? Uh, yeah, he, he'll nod and uh, Jackson will say, well, I'm, I'm grateful you didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, he says, uh, yeah. Uh, he'll say, um, so are you, are, are, are you space adventurers? Do you go out into wild space or? A little. Once upon a time. Slightly landlocked at the moment. Uh, I'm of the rock for myself. Yeah. Uh, he'll uh, uh, he'll nod and look at his grandfather, and his grandfather will say, uh, "You see, we've got um, a bit of a proposal uh, for you, a bit, bit of a business proposal, I, I, I guess I'm saying. And um, perhaps if you want to come and uh, I know you've got to recover, but if you'd like to come and have a meeting with us down at the the docks sometime soon, I've got something to show you, or my boy Jackson does anyhow." Well, that sounds like an invitation I wouldn't want to refuse. <laughs> yes, uh, Gil, piggyback me. Let's go. Work is work. That's it. You're, you're, you're not getting piggybacked. You're getting shot flung over a shoulder. Like, no, no, you're a crime. Two of you are dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep trying to tell them this. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> I don't suppose you, like, know anyone with, like, actual medical training that could, like, you know, force them to stay in bed and shove soup in them or something. Um, he's he telling, telling you I'm fine. Mothers. <laughs> I had a I, reinforced I, cane, I'd already be up and about. And whooping your backside with it, young man. He says, look, look we, can, we can do this later in the week or, or, or whenever, whatever suits you. I mean, uh, 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 it's no rush, it's, uh, just don't, don't, don't worry. Jackson says, uh, mm -hmm. he says, uh, he, he says, there's nothing that won't wait. I, I'm, I'm frankly a bit bruised and battered myself. And he, he kind of raises his wrists, which are obviously <laughs> literally have like horrendous sores on them from the manacles. And he's like, it's okay. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll meet, we'll meet in a few days. Um, Take all the time you need, young lad. We'll be yes. ready once you're rested up. Uh, yeah. He'll, uh, he'll look, Jack, Jackson looks meaningfully at, uh, at Gil. <laughs> And, and like winks overtly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Gil, Gil, Gil nods. We'll be fine. I'm, wounds are supposed to smell like almonds, right? So uh, everything will be fine. <laughs> is everything meant to be blink? I think everything is meant to be blinking slightly in front of my eyes, isn't it? <laughs> the world is fading out. It's not me, it's the world. Well, that's called set. It's uh, fine. Let's say, let's uh, meet yeah, in they're, uh, they're, they're not five in, days. Um, Six. However long we're <laughs> supposed to be bedridden, I forget. <laughs> oh, I guess six is that six, so that uh, I guess that that uh, Flynn is fully recovered as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Um, well, uh, and more or less, that that old man star will stand up and start leaving, and Jackson will kind of look slightly embarrassedly and then kind of shrug helplessly. Um, and uh, so it's uh, great to see you guys again. I'm really excited about you know talking about work, work and, and stuff. I think you're uh, maybe you'll be interested. Um, and he kind of looks maybe a bit shy or or unsure, but it kind of uh, yeah, we'll start to follow his grandfather. Let 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 me see you out. Gil will say, and you know help 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 your grandfather down the stairs, mm -hmm. and then follow yeah. them. Yeah, I said, oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, then, yeah, you go down the stairs into the front door. Um, yeah, just kind, get kind tried, of on, we'll... on, on the, <coughs> oh, my throat's catching a bit. Um, on the stairs, um, go kind of, kind of, yeah. I, 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 I just have a little feeling that there's some, something, not, something, something you, you, you know that you've not mentioned yet. Just a, just a feeling. I, 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 I don't have a feeling uh, something other towards, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like what? not knowing. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. You seem... 
prepared for something, or preparing for something mentally, maybe? I don't know. Um, here, uh, Old Man Star is ahead. It's like, come on, Jackson. And uh, Jackson will look at you and say, oh, I, I, I think I'm just, just, just nervous. I mean, I, I think, you know, it's exciting, you know, knowing adventurers. And I don't know if my, my grandfather would agree, but uh, he was one. And, um, and he'll kind of nod as he's beginning to, he's now beginning to, like, come away from you because he's trying to catch up with his grandfather. He <laughs> says, I just hope you'll, you'll be interested. Um, oh, well, and, we'll uh, certainly hear you out. Yeah. Of course we will. Jackson, uh, cool. Ja- Jackson is a teenager, right? He was like, he's like seventeen or, or eighteen. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. okay. Well, he's older, like seventeen okay. or something. So I was gonna say he has a yeah. business proposal for us. What is a fourteen-year-old? But okay, I guess if he's older, and maybe he's got some sort of hookup. Yeah, I'm upset. Uh, yeah, the rest I mean, going, he, uh, uh, it, like, I, I think I know where this is going, and let me just let me just paint a picture for you. Captain Flynn Manley. Yeah? Um. No. <laughs> Can you, in fact, pilot a ship? Well, the captain doesn't pilot the ship. That's the helmsman. I Have you ever been tell... aboard a ship? Well, yes. Father and mother, we used to go to our summer home on the asteroids all the time. Flynn, dear, you are at best a communications officer. At best. <laughs> but I am an officer. Yes. You know, you, 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 you major is Kirk in the Flynn. First of all, it's Spock, obviously. <laughs> and I'm from a different TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this Finn's from... from actually, he's more like Blake Seven or some kind of fairly shonky set seventies uh, British sci-fi. Or from like one of those episodes where they like time travel or something and end up in like revolutionary France. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just step back from kind of absolute timing and just work out what do you guys need to do or want to do in the next um... couple of. I mean, I guess if we have an event in six days' time, what do you want to do before then? I imagine we want to do some training, but that's probably going to take a while. More than six days, yeah. wouldn't it? The major and I need to go shopping yeah, well, for I guess the two thieves... oh. Yes. The so... two thieves can train because they're of a level. They can train um, and it will take... Is it in the PHP or is it in the DMG? Uh, I think that's Dungeon Master's Guide. I training. Don't in the 51 and 88. Uh, yeah, I think it's... I <laughs> hope that isn't days. 88 days, yeah, that's the average uh, amount. Um, uh, I was sorry. Oh, no, it, the actual details are in the DMG. Uh, yeah, I need to buy a shield. Uh, not a shield, I need to find a good tailor. I was looking at the word shield yeah. in my inventory. Yeah, can uh, the Major and I are going to go on a clothes shopping montage. Yeah. No, I just need to get this stitched. I don't know why um, you think we need a montage. <laughs> oh, because we, we have to Montage. check out all of the different um, formal jackets we can get you. Um, I'll sit. I'll sit in a chair drinking champagne, and I'll sort of shake my head at the first one. And yeah. So Flynn gets a clothing montage with a very grumpy major standing in the background in all, like every scene. <laughs> <laughs> every, every scene, your shirts get frillier. I'm like, not quite. A little bit more. Right. Oh, I, I get to roll. Oh, yeah. There is actually there is a clothing list on uh, table forty four. There is a, a clothing list. So work out your cost from that. Uh, training. So you'll need a trainer. The two of you. Uh, you must, uh, uh, generally speaking, you have to have a tutor. You have to be the same class and higher level. Uh, you must also the tutor must know the appropriate things, and then there has to be. Second, you have to pay the tutor. There is no set amount for this. And finally, the player character must spend time in training. The amount of time required depends on the instructor and the student, um, which, yeah, there is then a check. Uh, so what? who who on the rock do you think, Fussful and Flynn, would you 
is for, uh, to be fair Flynn can't train for a week anyway because he's still recovering Crystal can train whenever but I guess yeah who do you think just in general might you know on the rock who are your contacts in the underworld who teach you things mm, I'm wondering if I can be taught by old Corb Corb whatever his name was Cor yeah Cora Sormon yeah you could, well, he, he's he's a he's a thief and he is higher level than you and he likes us a lot <laughs> sure he Chris is help. not particularly aware of of these dynamics <laughs> I don't think no Friends entirely no entirely sort of asocial purely uh purely yeah. a business transaction <laughs> so yeah i guess first of all is going to be trying to find out where chorus is then mm -hmm. so that you can try to <laughs> convince him to hello man who wants to kill me um, <laughs> you, you, you start uh, looking through and the next day you wake up to a crossbow being pointed <laughs> at your head <laughs> He's teaching you how to sneak up on unwary targets. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can, are you going to just be looking out for information, or...? Um, no, I guess, I mean, I guess I'd be sort of actively seeking him out, um, mm. asking yeah. around the usual kind of contacts around town. Yeah. Yeah, uh, do you want to yeah make an information gathering roll? Because you're actually fit and able to do this, so you might as well do it whilst everyone else is yeah. dying. Um, information gathering, where are we? Uh, okay, so remind me, this is a... B20, it's because uh, it's um, oh, a non-weapon proficiency, isn't it? Yeah. 16. What what do you need for it? Da, 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 let me grab, grab the... Um... So it should say so. It should say on the details of it or something I can check. Yeah. Thieves. Yeah, I'm just Thieves consulting that right now. <laughs> What do, whilst we're doing that, do, what do other people, I guess, obviously, uh, Flynn, when he's better, wants to train as well? Um, Yil is a fair ways off leveling up, and you'd like, even with prime requisite 16, I'm still like, um, I still need like 1100 XP. I need to earn yeah. 1100 XP to gain enough to level up. Um, and obviously I don't have anywhere near that much gold. So... Uh, that's not really... Yeah, well, you, you, in, in, you pay tra for training, you pay for the trainer. You don't pay for the XP, you pay the trainer. Oh, you... you, you right, sorry. Uh, I, I have, right. So yeah. can't, can't... Yeah, that's, no, that's definitely fine. not an option. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. So I it guess... Is, I, okay, information but, gathering is intelligence-based. Uh, what's your intelligence, first of all? It is... Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Uh, so, just looking at the... Um, a small investment of money for drinks is required, so... Or you get a minus three, so you'd want to spend 1d10 to determine. Uh, what's your charisma? Uh, Twelve. Hmm. That might be relevant. So yeah, roll with 1d10. See how much you spend on drinks and uh, chatting people up. <laughs> six. 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 Well, uh, yeah, you don't take a reaction adjustment. So, uh, yeah, that it will be, I think, a fail then. You are, you're not a Thieves Guild member, but you're okay. also not outside your territory. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you, you ask around, and the reaction is not so much people don't know where he drinks, but they're a bit, they're a bit like, they don't mm. want to talk to you about it. <laughs> okay. People are cautious about uh, telling you about where Ormond is. Um, pro probably you're over here, one or two co comments from drunks, you know, from the people you know there. 
that uh, yeah, he's apart from the fact he's a stone cold killer, that people also probably say uh, that he's a bit of a drinker. Okay. Um. Then I guess all I can do is um, traipse around the the drinking holes. Yep. Do you want to make an encounter check? Sure. Which is a D. D six. D six in this case. Yep. Six. Mm. Yep. Great. Okay. All right. You spend a day doing that. Um, in fact, we should probably all have you make another uh, uh, D one hundred check. This day. Mm-hmm. Major and Flynn and Stifle need it, yeah. I'm in quarantine. Yeah. But other people aren't, they could be they could could be bring it back, they could be carriers. Guys, we have we have to keep our bubble tight. <laughs> <laughs> And I think, yeah, the Major needs to roll. I, th I think he's fine. He just got it. He's... Yeah, well, the Major's not doing anything right now. We can get him when he gets back. Uh, yep, yeah, so you spend basically the whole of the next day, um, first of all, going around. Eventually, you pick up that Chorus Ormond is often seen drinking at the Black Bull. <laughs> in the low city uh, which is uh, a, a, a place probably known amongst bounty hunters and thieves and things like that quite quiet and restrained place you don't get much trouble there okay the sign of the black bull um, but yeah he's uh, the reason that people don't start fights is because uh, you get killed if you do sure the reputation of the black bull which is not far from the low market, so it's not far from where you're staying at the moment. Uh, yeah, okay, it is. To, to be fair, it's there. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can go there, and uh, I guess go there of an evening. You will see sitting at the bar on his own um, is Chorus Ormond. Greetings. I approach him. Uh, let's uh, see if he is surprised. No. Yeah, uh, as you walk over and begin to say greetings, um, you realise that he is pointing a hand crossbow at you. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Um, he'll, he'll look at you and. Uh, yeah, his, uh, he, he seems kind of, his bodily, he's very kind of organised and he seems very alert. But there's just a slight slur in his voice and uh, he uh, will look at you and um, say, um, I, I, I thought we weren't planning to see each other again. Such trepidation is not necessary. I come as a uh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Even I struggled to find the word there. Uh, <laughs> Puzzle's like, yeah. what is this word? <laughs> yeah, he'll uh, he'll, he'll look um, like slightly confusedly at you um, as you as you pause and don't know what you're saying, and uh, then uh, say, "What do you and I have to do with each other? What business do we have?" I tell him. Uh... Tales of your skills are told all all uh, all around the rock. Um, I come in uh, it, uh, to make a request for training. Uh, he'll look at you appraisingly and uh, say, "Well, I know you're a mad bastard. I saw the bodies. <laughs> That's step one." Um, and and then say. Um, 
But what what I do, what we do, what you claim to do, it requires more than being able to stab some uh, uh, some child snatcher in the face. And there's there's information gathering, sneaking. There's uh, being able to uh, ambush uh, three adventurers in their room when they wake <laughs> up. <laughs> I am exquisitely tuned to the subtleties of life. <laughs> Say, ah, you're a poet at least. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, he'll just turn sense, around and start. Sense, uh, uh, while, whilst uh, watching you, he'll be drinking his beer. So Phil makes uh, his best attempt uh, at, at an earnest, um, you know, claim that he's he's more than just a murderer. <laughs> uh, let's, I guess, let's see. Let's give him a reaction check because I actually haven't done a reaction check for him so far. Uh, yeah. Your Christmas twelve, you said. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, he uh, continues to to drink whilst pointing a weapon at you, and the bartender looks curiously between the two of you, and he looks like he's kind of quiet, obviously quite quiet, considered guy. He he looks like he's wondering whether to ask you if you want to drink or anything, um, <laughs> and he uh, doesn't say anything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I mean, he'll, uh, he'll say, maybe it's because this is my 12th, or maybe uh, it's because uh, of that backstab working in the guy at the door, or uh, maybe it's because I'm just a kind guy. But yeah, I'll help you, I'll train you. Uh, uh, right. He says, and um, uh, uh, he, he says, one thing, don't mention. Even though it can't in your spot. So don't mention anything about my employer. That's not a topic for conversation. Mm. I will observe discretion. Uh, he'll not, and uh, then I guess he will. Um, yeah, stick with you the next day, or I thought it would be on day six. Um, basically, yeah, what will need to happen is. He'd probably want um, about a hundred gold um, per level of pearl for training. Uh, but basically, so that he could, partly that's for buying his water and stuff, and partly for his time. Uh, you have to spend okay. that time, and uh, it'd be, I think, um, yeah. Well, yeah, we say it's, yeah, it won't be 100 gold per level per week, it'll be 100 per level. Um, and it will uh, be three weeks of training um, and at the end of which you need to make an intelligence or wisdom check, whichever is higher. Okay. How, how, um, how deep is our, uh, our, uh, our, our purse at the moment? Didn't That's, you guys find I guess, the, uh, the party, Alex and Flynn. Uh, you did get 880 gold worth of gems. Yeah, okay. so as far as I'm aware, nothing's been done with the gems yet, so we just have 880 gold worth of gems. Cool. Um, Chorus like, would accept those at face value. Chorus has more <laughs> defenses than you, so... Excuse me. Um, I mean, that definitely sounds like a good use of the gems. I mean, other things that need spending money on, I think... Getting the major, the major wanted some better armor, which is expensive. Like, what, what, what armor is the major currently wearing? Uh, nothing. Just no natural mm. armor. We should get the major some armor. Oh, uh, my natural armor is, is the minimum armor. Uh, six, six isn't terrible. What uh, is so? Is it cha is it that chain is the minimum you can wear, or then like, to improve um, it? It'd be chain chained. is the minimum that would get me an actual bonus over what I've already got. And yeah, that so would cost chain is cost 75, but I think, it, but yeah, it costs more for you because yeah. you're a gift, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. 
So. I actually worked this all out previously when I was trying to figure out how much money I would need for better armor or a gun. And it turned out that it was yeah. more than I have. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, Flynn, when you recover... Uh, We'll have uh, yeah, we'll have on day we'll have a day six check for everyone as well. But yeah, um, do you want, should we have a D one hundred check for Malingra's cholera? So if, uh, at this point, the rest people are fine. Flynn is still recovering. I didn't I didn't do a D. I just did this oh, 100, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I don't like that I rolled the lowest out of everyone. Actually, first of all, Rob Lewis. No, for, uh, no he didn't. Oh, first of all, did roll a three. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> uh, the Stipe, was that your 48 there? It was. Yeah. And do I have one from the Major? Yes, I do. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, on day six, Fussful and Gil both wake up uh, with very unpleasant stomachs and spend a lot of day in the toilet. Oh. Um, yeah, you're, you'd each... Uh, this will include the meeting day, so it is relevant. Well, you'll be minus two to all rolls. Uh, uh... <laughs> you don't have to re you don't have to role play vomiting noises throughout the entire meeting. <laughs> no, I was just gonna ask like yeah. does what is is it a like a cure disease spell? Uh, you know, and is you know, stop yeah, I Stipe doesn't have it, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have it. I've got a. This is the precise um, oh, is it... day. I've got another when, weapon uh... proficiency for healing and herbalism. Might be able to oh, that'd be great. symptoms. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. make you can make some medicine for them. Yeah, you can make, make you can make medicine for them if you want. Yeah, I'll do that. Can can, can I um? Actually, Your disease is dead level. Something I probably should have said before Gil got ill. Um, like he he would want to do some shopping or at least look for, you know, maybe a shop that sells. You know that has like magic spells for sale because I have money now, like scrolls or something. A scroll, yeah. Or... I'm not sure. I, I'm items not sure are pretty it's... rare to buy. You yeah. are some places, you know, um, but they're pretty rare. But uh, let's have a look. Uh, that that's that's uh, fine. I'll have a quick check of where you might be able to go. Um, Gaspar's Reclamations in the Middle City mm -hmm. is the place you want to go. Excellent. I think. Just checking through. Um, Gamelon's Curios actually is there is yeah those two are the main places the two places that sell anything like that. Uh, there are also alchemists and apothecaries and stuff, but that's usually non magical. Um, yeah, uh, so we can we we'll do Gil doing that and then um, we'll uh, I guess go to the meeting with Thema Bobs. If that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. With the stars. Okay, so Gil, where do you want to go? Uh, so Gaspar's Reclamations or Gamelon's Curios? Uh, so Gaspar's was in the middle city. Where was Gamelon's? Both, they're both in the middle city, in fact. Uh, um, I guess uh, Gas Gaspar's first. Gamelon's sounds more like items. Yeah. So, so Gaspar's. It's, at, yeah, at, at the junction of Grand Street and... Um, uh, the Grand Market. Uh, let's, I was going to say, Gamelon's Curios is um, unusual magical items, particularly items to do with their space travel and spell jamming. Mm. Um, but yeah, you can go to Gaspar's. Yeah. And... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what particularly are you interested in? Um, looking for, looking for spells to learn is a, a, few, a few things might be interesting. Like I've got, a, I'm, I'm fairly restricted thanks to my um, my kids. Like, like, you're a specialist, can't, yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm uh, well, I, yes, I can't take illusion, enchantment, or conjuration. So illusion, mm -hmm. enchantment, not so bad, but conjuration hurts. Um. Uh. So you're more thinking about spell books to copy, not... I mean, I guess you can technically um, copy from a scroll, can't you? So. Yeah, I think. I, I, I don't know if that's just a fifty. Yeah, yeah. It, no, you can copy from a scroll. I guess it does As you know, I bought gate. 
Sorry? I've never actually, I never actually played Baldur's Gate. Even. Incompetent. Well, I, I'm not here. Uh, yeah, so... Young. <laughs> Same difference. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Well, it means old man. Yeah, so... the, 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 the first console I, I played on was a like like an Xbox or something, Xbox 360. I did attempt to play Baldur's Gate, but I don't think I have I, I ever understood how it worked. <laughs> it was oh god, Mo. I was I was way too young to understand AD and D when I first played it, and I didn't have yeah. AD all of those numbers were little alien symbols. Yeah. I once uh, sat down to play Baldur's Gate on a long-distance train journey, and there was a little boy sat next to me who was probably about nine or ten years old, and I thought, this is going to blow his mind. He's going to watch over my shoulder this game, and it's, he's going to be amazed at the, the, the 90s charm of it all, and he's going to be enraptured, and this might set, he paid attention for about three minutes before getting bored. <laughs> I guess if you have no I mean, he's a small child that basically exactly isn't that. Exactly, is <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm just looking for. Um, so yeah, what 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 spell? I guess first level wizard spell. Are you looking to? Uh, find? I think the two two things I was looking for, which was, I think, uh, oh three three things. Sorry, which are burning hands, magic missile, and wall of fog. Which are all evocation, I think. Evocation, yeah. Okay, let me check that cost for you. Uh, do you want to roll an encounter check in the middle city as you're travelling around? Oh, yeah, yeah. See if I get mugged on route. Leaving, leaving, I uh, probably first of all in the, and, uh, I mean, no, to be fair, you're, yeah, you've got the craps, haven't you? <laughs> Gil is, like, staggering over, holding his stomach. <laughs> Uh, yep. No, you have a. You managed to get over there. <laughs> um, yeah. So there'd be it'd be th uh, but scrolls. First level scrolls um, are. Uh, do we have a table sixty nine in the DMG? Let's find. See if I can find that. They're, they're going to be several hundred. You'd expect. For a first level are, spell, are they? I forget. Are scrolls one use or scrolls one use? Yeah, whether you yeah. cast them or whether you put them in. Oh, your really? Wow. Um, NPC spell costs. Mm, that is more for castings. Uh, I mean, to be fair, a third level is five hundred GP. For some first uh, comprehend languages is fifty. Um. This is like getting NPCs to cast it, which isn't going to be that far from the scroll. So it consumes a sort. scroll, but presumably you can copy whatever you want out of a spellbook. Yeah, I just have to find some with a spellbook yeah, who yeah. is willing to let me. Yeah, you, you need know, to find look a wizard to train him. Yeah. I'm not sure we've actually met any wizards yet on the Rock of Brawl. Presumably, yeah. are some, but we've met one. Have we? Yeah, there, there are. Yeah, there I are. killed him. Uh, that was a priest, though. <laughs> no, he yeah. killed me. The priest. Um, stipe. What's more better? Uh, uh, yeah, call, call, call it for those first level spells. Um, call it two hundred for the scroll. Um, oh. Stipe, are you? Uh, you're obviously sending money back uh, to the bottom side of the rock. But are you returning to your uh, your temple at any point? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to return to the temple and pray to Demeter. Well, I'm, get, I'm going to go back home first, um, give out money and arms, and I'm going to, like, partially to just help out in the village to, you know, get new plows and stuff for those who need it, all that sort of stuff. Um, but then I'm going to buy some of the surplus wheat crop and bring it back on the back of uh, crops to the Plater Temple to make a burnt offering to Demeter. Uh, so, uh, well, because uh, um, you are a guest from one of the farming asteroids, so you get a ship out there and then come back with um, with stuff. Um, I also, while I'm actually, there, yeah, get rather, rather, herbs and such like yeah, I need to make inside. medicine for um, 
Yeah. Uh, Gill and Probably, if you, if you started with herbs, you'll have herbs for stomach complaints. So you can make a herbalism check if you want. What is that? Whiz? Probably. Let's see. Uh, it'll be whiz, yeah. I don't know what the penalty is. It is... If any. Whiz minus two. So I guess I'm trying to roll under whiz, but this gives me a minus two on that roll. To your whiz, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, success. <clears throat> yeah, great. Uh, yep. So, uh, the ne by the next day, Fussful and uh, Gil will have something to ease their stomachs, make them feel yeah, a bit yeah. better. Still a bit ropey, to be honest, but you won't take penalties. <laughs> uh, so, Gil, were you buying anything, or were you at least asking the party if you can buy anything? I mean, I, I, that, that's pretty steep. Um, so I don't know, like. Yeah, you, you need to go. You need fundamental. Yeah, definitely do. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave it for now. You know, maybe I'll be more golden time. Maybe we have better use for gems, and so on and so on. Yeah. Okay. Well. The major has bought. So is the major buying armor? They'll probably be getting it. Do you know, the irony is you'll probably be going up to. Um, you'll be going to the the place you'd gone before. You know, the place down in Dracon Town where they made armor for uh, non-humans and larger demi-humans and stuff. Who gave you the order for Agamor's platoon? Yeah. I well, imagine. If I if I could have a hundred and twenty-five gold out of the party gem fund, but I mean, I know that's a big ask, so it's up to you. Uh, Guys, if you want to give you 30 of that. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's just, the thing that... Yeah. I just need enough to train, right? Other than that. Yeah. That's not that much. Like, how much is it to the, the two rogues to train? It's like 100 gold um, each or something, 100 right? assuming success. Each well, I wasn't... 200 I, assuming they both succeed. I wasn't planning on training with... Uh, or Mond, really. Oh, so it might, it might be more. But e e even then, like, assume it takes you, like, two goes. It, it could, assume it costs the same, and, and then you, you fail once and succeed it a second time. That's 400. That'd still be, like, 440 yeah. less. So that's, yeah. you know, even after the major spends 100 and... What was it? 150? 125? 125 mm -hmm. out of the party. Uh, yes. Yeah, gem bond. That, that's still loads left. Uh, Stipe will give you 30 of that 125 oh. just because he's got okay. extra gold and doesn't carry gold. Uh, 95 gold out of the gem fund, then. Oh, but and that, that's... that's uh, nine, you need 95 gold, which might be more than 95 gold's worth of gems. Yeah. Who 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 is going to yeah. be best at selling gems? I... I, 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 I Normally, I'd say you. I hate to say it, but I think it might be Flynn. Because Gil can look at a gem and say, "Yeah, that's a real, that's a real diamond." <laughs> but but Flynn's the one who would be like, "Yeah, this is not just a diamond. It's a well, diamond that's... we. It's it, it, it's a diamond that we fought and killed for. It's a diamond that's a part of the legend of Flynn Manly. You know, <laughs> you could sell it to that dwarf. <laughs> yeah, don't you want a moment? <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a thought, you know. Do, do, doors like rocks, right? We could go sell it to Hell Snobrodic. Mm. They'll give us a good price. Just don't open with dwarves like rocks and go to go. Doors like rocks, we're, right? We're, 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 gil, sure. Gil's, gil, gil's like, like a Gil's like a human elf supremacist, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like he's not like racist at all, but it probably seems like. Doesn't sound bad at all. I like it. Yeah, Gil is one of like Alex's kind of more reasonable characters. He gets on with people, but nonetheless, he still has like outrageous political beliefs. Well, when you come from a planet that's like you know an elven um, colony, and you're like the a worst human. Thing is, when he said something like, "Oh, I think I'm wrong," yeah. <laughs> I think when people are like, oh, everything's gone wrong since Scro, you know, took over Spiral, the worst thing is people are like, yeah, I guess Scro do suck. Um, so, yeah, he feels validated by uh, <laughs> everyone saying this. Yeah, Scro suck, and, 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 and Spiral's the best planet ever, and it had the best ruling system ever, and elves should be in charge of everything. 
you know, my, my only regret is not dying People on are spiral. Less affirming of that point. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, well, in terms of day, um, it's going to be. Uh, I think what what was it? It's going to be it was going to be day ten when you met people. So the major can certainly buy stuff, and Flynn can certainly exchange stuff. It's not strenuous activity. Um, yeah. Let's. Uh, what is your um, your charisma reaction adjustment, Beach, for, for Flynn? You just go to a jeweler and uh, with your gems. Uh, it is uh, plus two. Is that it? That's a seven. That's that's good, <laughs> I'd say. I mean, isn't isn't that like like fourteen charisma or something? Yeah, yeah fourteen charisma. Like, oh, uh, actually, no. I've 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 gotten used to dark sun ability skills now. That's that that, that is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, nine plus and uh, minus two, because that's how it works, will, given you, you are being friendly, that will actually take the jeweler to uh, friendly, as opposed to indifferent to you. Um, so, uh, what you need? Um, how much do you need to exchange? What, what are the gems worth? I, the list is in the Discord. Was it on the main session? Right. Here we go. Three ornamental, ten yeah, gold. Two so. semi-precious, fifty gold. One fancy, hundred gold. One precious, five hundred gold. Plus a special carved jet, one hundred and fifty gold. Um. Well, um, to get, cause uh, yeah, you'll get eighty-five percent heal off you for the face value. So you need, I guess, one of those ornamentals and the, uh, the. Semi precious worth a hundred or whatever it was. Uh, uh fancy worth a hundred, yeah. Fancy, yeah. So yeah, um, you're uh, that one well, is uh, eighty five percent of one ten. Eighty five plus eight point five, so that's ninety three point five. Off the top of my head. Yeah, ninety three point five. Yeah, so you have three point five left over, oh, and the ma the major can have one. Uh, can have his uh, stuff. Commissioned, can't he? How Thank much more is it for? How much yeah, more is it for even better armor? Because it's uh, like a little bit more to get another point of AC. You know, I will work. have a look, but remember that <laughs> it's gonna scale yeah. quite quickly because I'm playing. playing oh yeah, it, it, cost, it does. So. It does double. So that was you were getting what yeah. Ch chainmail. Ten mail, which is base seventy-five, oh. but for me is two hundred and twenty-five. Um, what's our next one? Ring mail, scale mail. Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for the sheet mm. to load. <laughs> if anyone can look at it faster than me. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm looking at it now. Um, just kind of flicking through the book too fast. Uh, oh. Chain mail. So during this, uh... splint, banded, or bronze are uh, four. Yeah. D during this, uh, first of all, you'll be meeting Chorus by night, uh, where he'll put you through your paces, um, and uh, he he's quite grumpy. Like when, when when you fail some task or some exercise, or when you can't hit the target reliably or whatever, um, he uh, yeah uh, just starts muttering under his breath, um, uh, mostly about how he wants a drink and uh, how <laughs> uh, he can't believe he's uh, with some um, some. Uh, uh, sushi eater, he calls you. <laughs> <laughs> I take uh, it all very patiently. Uh, scale is 120, so it would go to 360. Ring is 100, think, so it would go to 300. I think splint is actually better, which is only 80, which would be 240. Um, uh, it's heavier, but yeah. I mean, the weight would probably triple as well, but that's fine. I don't know if it'll triple. Is that it, is it, 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 it much heavier? No, isn't it the same as chain? Sprint mail, the weight, 40 pounds. Oh, I mean, it's it's heavier than like ring, is what I mean. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, ring ring is, is ring more expensive, but weighs less. Is that the... Yeah, weighs yeah. less, yeah. 
But if you're getting chain mail, you might as well get sprint mail. Because it's like 15 gold more and gets you another point of AC. Uh, uh, Flynn, but I mean, you don't need to sort it now because you're, you have to have your meeting first. But did Flynn have any thoughts about training with someone? My idea was that I would go through my family contacts. So either like a tutor that I actually had or the tutor of another family that I know. Um, mm -hmm. You know, someone would have originally taught me um, various things, sword fighting and various swashbuckling yeah. but that, things. Get, of course, they, they're, they're not necessarily Bralian, of course, uh, if that's back home on the estate. Uh, correct. So, well, that's why I was saying, like, maybe I would expand my list out to be like, who do I know? Maybe... Uh, other families, and I would sort of reach out and see if there's anybody on the rock that I could be like, hey, remember? Uh... Uh, so, so, I mean, a a, uh, a skilled swordsman, not known for fighting, really, but more as a hobbyist. Um, let me just uh, check that you, you'll be aware. Um, but yeah, is is in, uh, uh, has never been seen. Has never been seen. Um, uh, yeah, fighting. Um, in earnest, but uh, uh, does um, uh, yeah, duel a bit is Hastain. Um, As in the guy we went to the or, party of? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, I've already didn't met we him. Hear, like, didn't we hear like? Uh, hey, Osso, Osso Calandra. Or start the like guy who uh, you fought in the street. Well, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, I want to pay to beat you up, uh, or I want to pay for you to beat yeah, me. Yeah, I want you. I want to pay you <laughs> to stab me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just think about it in terms of because you need a thief to train you rather than um, or someone with equivalent skills. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you have met uh, though he might not be the right class. You obviously have got a contact amongst the uh, the show yakuza. Oh. And there's I guess the mercenary organisations as well potentially uh, might be uh, places you could hire someone. So yeah, you could probably, if you can't if you if you can't think of anything else you'd rather you could probably go to the trading company, uh, which is the largest mercenary organization. I think the trading companies were the best for this. Probably the best for the, this particular purpose. Yeah. Um, yeah, storage neutral mercenary organization, which uh, will trade with anyone. Um, is there's a hot yeah so yeah pro probably uh, yeah that'd be fine the smith's costa is more about actual shipping and weaponry Gaspar's reclamations elite treasure seekers so that's where Gaspar gets his stuff from or at least some of it mm, yeah uh, I guess there's also Agamor's platoon the gift platoon that uh, the major knows of <laughs> If you want to train with GIF, I'm not. They wouldn't. I'm not sure they'd have a thief who train you. I don't know. That is possible. <laughs> yeah, I just go to the uh, the trading trading guild. Um, yep. No, they they'll find you a tutor. Uh, obviously, there's less social advantage in having a generic tutor, but uh, you can just go and get one. That works. I think I've. Uh, I think I've cheesed uh flynn and having plenty of social advantages <laughs> backstory yeah yeah um great i tell you I'm, i would say there are gift thieves so that you could you could go and get a gift to train you i'm not sure uh if it'd be in dueling or not though <laughs> <laughs> How a, lot, a lot of paperwork a gift thief yeah uh cool uh right, should we do this meeting with the stars then given i think we know what everyone's doing in their downtime uh, Major's getting armor. Uh, Gil is has been amongst other things looking around for spells. I guess Gil might also look for a mentor if you're looking for help. Uh, Flynn, think about clothes and about training, first of all training, and Stipe. Uh, yet to be Stipe going home for a bit and then coming back. I would say when you return, 
Trifo, the acolyte of Mars, looks uh, with incredible alarm at you as you step over the threshold. And he'll faint. Do you walk in going, brains? <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I just sort of step over him, uh, bringing crops with the load of wheat over and uh, leave a little uh, a little invigorating uh, like medicine next to him and shake my head and mutter something about uh, uh, such a strong acolyte of Mars <laughs> um, yeah I, as you go, go further in uh, I imagine the next person you'll see, you'll see Eumenes, the priest of Hermes, who uh, uh, helped you out with the heel, um, and he does not look shocked. Uh, he'll uh, say he he will say um, that uh, you'll probably have to you need, really need to go and talk to Socrates, uh, given that um, he'd be wondering when you turn up to start undertaking rites for Demeter again. Oh, yeah, well, he will note that you're leading crops with the uh, with the food offering, though. So he said that might buy you a bit of credit. Um, do I need to speak to Kratos? Can I not just go to the altar and speak to a priest of Demeter, or is there not one? No, you you are the you are the priest of Demeter here. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> well, then I'll just go. I'll just go to the altar in front of the statue of Demeter and proceed. Um, as you walk off, you will say, uh, "Do remember you. You owe me a favour. You've only to ask. Uh, you're, you're undertaking your rights, and though there's no verbal interruption, you feel a presence behind you. You know, during this, not not stopping you, but you can almost feel the lowering presence of um, an angry chief priest behind you. I take my time." <laughs> Eight, eight years later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're finished, Socrates will uh, look at you and uh, say, I told you you'd die if you went with those adventurers. You've neglected your duties. You've uh, ta taken up spells from the uh, Temple of Ptah, so now they think we owe them. They resurrected me on account of me saving some children, which is what I was doing instead of my specific duties to Demeter. Now, if there could be relied upon some more cooperation between us or fellows of the same pantheon, perhaps I wouldn't be the only one tugging wheat back and forth from the asteroids to pay favour to the goddess now. Uh... He'll, um, yeah, uh, kind of mutter, you know, re react via muttering and not saying something for a moment and seems to breathe slightly. Doesn't really calm down, but um, uh, he uh, uh, says, uh, Almighty Zeus uh, blesses what we do here and commands all. Uh, don't get above yourself, uh, your, uh, your offering. And he'll say this kind of was almost business today is uh, very suitable and appreciated. Um, but uh, uh, we, we, uh, 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 basically he'll say his authority. You will respect my authority. Uh, <laughs> he'll say, um, you, need, you, know, you, you need to show Zeus due regard in his servant here on the rock. I'll, uh, I'll sort of bow my head uh, just barely. Uh, he'll uh, huff slightly and uh, just turn around and walk off. Um, In the mould of the Heavenly all, Father himself. Um, yeah. Meaning no disrespect, Lord uh, Zeus. First of all, <laughs> there, is no, there is no blast of lightning. Um, first of all, do you, well, on one night of training, do you want to, just before you go and see the stars, I'm trying to think, yeah, you'll have like a day left of training after you see them. Uh, not a day, two, two weeks, one day. Um, but yeah, could you um, make a detect noise check for me? Oh dear. Okay, that's going to be a d20, yeah? 
No, it's a D, um, a detect noise, isn't it? D100? Yeah, oh, D skill, skills are on D100. Fine. This is a task that he's setting as part oh, of yeah. training, it's not a kind of normal adventure thing. He's just, he, 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 uh, you're told, Chorus says, um, while you're at training, he says, uh, listen, you tell me what's happening. Um, and it looks to me like you fail. <laughs> yeah, I have 20%. Yeah. Um, you, you kind of listen carefully and look around, I guess, and uh, he stares at you and he's like... <sighs> um, he then um, swings, he draw, rapidly draws both his hand crossbows, swings them both to one side, like both his hands swing around. He fires one and you see the bolt smack into a board um, of a building just above some um, uh, some barrels and uh, then he calls out he says the other one's loaded it's on a hair trigger come out now and uh, stepping out um, we're slightly sh shaking from behind a barrel there is a dark skinned dark haired human girl about 12 <laughs> no I uh, recognise her and uh, he'll say yeah, you do. I think you think she uh, has a few gold of yours that she stole yeah. last session. Um, uh, yeah, Cor Cora says, uh, what kind of spy are you? Who, who should I send your corpse back to? <laughs> she's like, she's like oh, I, I was just following the lizard because I wanted to steal something from him. <laughs> and he, he'll look at you and be like, <laughs> he's just kind of staring at you. I think he begins to open his mouth to say something and then just stares at you, slightly flat-eyed. Like, explain. We have this thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's like, I don't want to know. Look, <laughs> this is a private business. You promised me discretion. <laughs> if you got some kind of like weird cult or competition with fighting children... Or and he's just like shaking his head <laughs> repeatedly, um, and he'll turn and say, "What's your name, girl?" And uh, she will say, "Her name is Kelma, K-E-L-M-A." Kelma. Um, and uh, uh, she'll uh, uh, he'll say, um, "If I catch you following us again, I'll put this straight through your eyeball." And she, he fires the other uh, hand crossbow right by her ear. <laughs> Uh, and uh, she she shakes, she's shaking heavily. She says, "Yes, sir. So I'm sorry, sorry, sir. I didn't." Yeah. And uh, she'll start kind of backing off. I'll comment. Um, and uh, uh, as, yeah. she, as she, after she's left, I sort of comment that uh, um, she's yeah. a quiet one. Um, he, he he's like. As in conversationally, or as in sneaky, confused. Uh, says, uh, uh, "Good contact to cultivate." Then that end of our business, you need people who can get places and who can hear things. Uh, I mean, she she uh, would have heard any secret plans you were making. That's for sure. <laughs> she has indeed okay. gained the better of me before. Uh, guess we'll come for to the. Um, the meeting day that you'd agreed, and that you'll have arranged a time and a berth down in the docks. Remember, the docks are. Uh, can we have a encounter check from someone? I guess Andrew, you probably haven't rolled that much um, tonight. Um, Trying to roll a d6. That will be a two. Yeah. yeah, you head down. Uh, at what point, by the way, Flynn, do you want to switch your contract over to the White Galleon and have a floor at the White Galleon in the Middle City? Uh, well, probably as soon as I'm well enough to. You know, move my stuff over there. Was that yeah. the only option? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, not necessarily. That was just one that I mentioned to Flynn when Flynn was looking. That is the green circle, pretty much, I think, yeah, yeah. someone's put there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if there was anything else, um, yeah, more north or west. But uh, there's... The... Where is north and west? Uh, well, more or less, there is one in closer than the Red House to Gift Town, but it's literally only like, it's on the same block, pretty much. Oh, well, like somewhere over here, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think um, hopefully... There's not really anything up by the Temple District. So drawing yeah. south from the Temple District, the nearest is the White Galleon. There's, if you look at the actual shape of the city, most of the city is south and east of where you actually are already. <laughs> so, um, in terms of the urban development, there's not oh, many yeah, places yeah. closer that way. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. And it's right by the market. That's yeah. probably good. You know. Yeah. Just, and Fandar. You like Fandar? We see the, the book man. The book. Yeah, the book man. <laughs> the book. There's a better word than that, but... You know, it's like, he's a bookseller, yeah. A book a bookseller. Um, I mean, in this kind of in this kind of economy, that also means he's a publisher, you know, because no one else is independently yeah. publishing stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you'll you'll come down uh, to the docks, um, and uh, you're directed by you know when you're asking where's this this berth, it's literally called berth like 182 A, which is odd because as you pass them, they're all. Like the berths and caverns for ships and you can the big places you can see they're all like if you go from the north the docks are like berth one and berth two and all the way down so you, you don't see anyone that is running with a, a letter code um but you uh come down eventually eventually to 182 a uh which is um yeah uh, in the docking caverns rather than out on the keys um and uh you come to a, a, a quite small sub cavern um, and you see old man uh, Star uh, waiting for you and uh, he uh, gestures for you to follow him to the quayside. And you see ahead of you, you think, um, yeah, uh, not necessarily completely surprising, but it's a small sailing ship. It's not as it's it, what you see in, the, in this berth is not a big tradesman or anything. Um, in fact, pro probably the major... Uh, would would have some kind of confusion about what's going on with it. It's it's quite small. It's you know maybe the size of like a little racing yacht or something. You know like it can fit a few people on, but it's not very big. Um, it has a sail on it, um, a single sail which sparkles like it's it's black a black field with sparkling on it like stars, um, that ripples in a very like it when it ripples it looks like you know you, you're looking at the night sky. Um, and uh, standing next to it is Jackson, um, who uh, is grinning as you come in. Uh, the major's question would be that this is apparently in a space berth, and I'm not sure the major would understand how this uh, how this carried enough air or anything like that. It also doesn't seem to have a helm, a seat for a helm. Again, I think the major. Or Flynn, to be fair, or indeed even Gill might have some idea of. It doesn't seem to have a place anyone sits, like a caster sits to expend spells. Um, Gil, Gil actually is does have um, spell jamming, so he probably does know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so yeah, you're looking at like, oh, that's unusual. Um, yeah, we're here. Yeah. What's the a, uh, proposal? Unique design. Uh, old man, stop again. Sorry, Major, what were you going to say? I just saying it's a unique design. Um, yeah, uh, old man star starts to say something, and Jackson says, this is the star sail. And uh, he'll point and um, uh, he'll say, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's actually my, my, it was my granddad's, and uh, uh, it's, Less mobile now, and uh, old man Star will say, uh, uh, much on just pressing about how he can still shoot a uh, iron fest guard um, with a crossbow, and then Jackson will, uh, yeah, Jackson will just sort of uh, talk over that and uh, will um, say, yeah, no, this is this is this uh, it, with it I can sail the stars and I can go places and I can. Um, uh, yeah, I can, I can uh, find stuff. I, I use it to, to, to scavenge and salvage for, for uh, my granddad's uh, stall. How? Well, he says he stays close just on some of the basically junk that gets dropped off the jettison. He just goes and finds where the rock is leaving junk behind. Yes, but, but, but how do you drive it? Um, he will say, um, 
Oh, um, he says it's it's a family heirloom. Uh, if a member of m my family, uh, I think my great grandfather um, uh, was the one who commissioned it, and then uh, my grandfather he was able to pay for it with his uh, the, what he made out of uh, these things out of his career. Uh, um, he yeah he'll be uh, if a member of my family. Uh, is in command of it and, and controlling it, then it sails under our will. It can't go very far, um, but it has uh, a big air pocket and uh, carries more air than normal. And uh, it was used, actually, I, I, I think it's designed to be used as a pinnace to come off of a bigger ship. Um, but uh, I've only ever used it to go and scout around the junk. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I can probably guess where this is going, but... If you'd care to make your proposal? Um, old Man Star will say, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're violent fellows and, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, good at picking up uh, things that are dropped by other people, uh, especially if they're dead. Uh, and Jackson will kind of look up, somewhat in horror at this, but Old Man Star kind of barrels on. He'll say, uh, oh, I've, I've heard uh, the rumours around, around the low market about you, and he'll gesture at Fur, kind of nod at Fussful, uh, making friends with Chorus Ormond. Uh, there's, what, what we what we propose is there's probably better stuff out there to scavenge and find with the use of a star sail um, than the junk off the jettison. And perhaps, and I, if there's a point, there seems to be a positive say, perhaps uh, my boy and you could uh, work together going out there and in some of the nearby asteroids and places nearby to, uh, to find what you may. We're all going to fit on that. They say, my boy's adventuring though. He's just piloting. His job Why? is piloting. Your job is adventuring. Hmm. <laughs> so, so we do the work. You take a small portion of it. In the attempt to provide it in the vessel. So, hmm. Um. Well, he, he'd say he'd, he'd it, my my boy gets an e equal share. He won't be fighting, but he's the only one who can pilot it. That seems reasonable. Well, Are you looking for exclusive rights on salvage then, or? Um, he'd say first refusal, hmm. and he'd pay, anything would be he'd have he'd pay market price. Hmm. Oh, he'd pay a reasonable price for. He wouldn't be like, oh yes, that's uh, the hand of Vecna. I'll pay you fifty gold. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, sounds reasonable enough to me. I don't know if any of you gentlemen have. I mean, this is, so this is obviously dangerous work. So even you know, even if he stays on the craft, if he, if he if something happened, if he got you know knocked out or something, uh, uh, you know, would be stranded for who knows how long. Um, that's an obvious risk there. Um, He'll say, "Oh, better look after him then." Additionally, if anything happens to the craft that it, you know damages it, but doesn't debilitate it. I'm, I, if, if, you know, I'm, I, I, you, you, you can pay for that. <clears throat> it's your crowd. Uh, he, he'll, he'll consider and not, a, 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 anything that isn't, uh, your purity, you see? Yeah. Oh, sure. You know, if, I, if, if I'm on the boat, I'll do what I can. He, he might, he might, up. he might glance towards the, uh, he might glance towards the major when he says that. We've not got any more bombs. Um, yeah. I wouldn't use a bomb on our own ship. I don't trust your aim, Major. Well, I'm glad With all due respect, sir. That. Um, I, I, I feel like yeah. there's other things wrong here. There's something you're not telling. What aren't you telling us? You know, you've, uh, you've, you've had this in mind. You've got something say, in mind. Um, how, my, how I fell in love for the first time. Um, uh, what your business is that you should be minding. Okay, so there's there's a reason you're looking for more people. There's a reason you've not just gone and done it by yourselves. There's places that you know are dangerous and are too dangerous to to, to deal with just the two of you or anything. Yeah, you think we? He'll, he'll probably cock his head and be like, "Well, of course, that's why we're asking violent adventurers rather than me relying on my teenage grandson." Idiot. Yeah, I mean, saying that there are places. Too dangerous for a one-legged old man, his teenage son to go. It's kind of like saying water is wet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have... know. 
you 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 you're saying these places aren't safe, and yet you're 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 willing asking you're asking us to to you know handle the the, the majority of the risk whilst an equal part of a reward. It's. Uh, yeah. He says, ah, oh, how are you planning to get there, then, without our participation? Ah, oh, just steal someone else's spell, Jammer. Gil says, I... complete straight-faced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he'll laugh coldly. Like, obviously, he understands enough about spell jammer to be like, yeah, you could go really slowly by and get caught and get killed. Is... Yeah. He doesn't say that, but you two share a look which communicates. He knows exactly the statistics yeah. of how that would work out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, you know, there's, there's plenty of jobs going now. Maybe, you know, after after Malingara's cor cor mal mal Malingara's col cholera, <laughs> Malingara's fuck, Malingara's cholera. There we go. I got it in the end. <laughs> after that, you're done, still suffering from it slightly you know. at this point. Remember, you're still within the week where you're still a bit in, even with the herbs. So they're yeah, saying yeah. this whilst trying not to vomit. <laughs> Malingara's He's got the Malingara's tongue. Yeah. Okay. Excuse him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's work going, but, you know, I'm sure this will pay better, which is why I'm considering it at all. Like, is there work going? Um, old man star will... <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, there's still some work around. Um, obviously, there's still some, you know, they're still looking for more longshoremen and night watchmen and things like that. Basically, any task that takes endurance where you can't take a toilet break every half an hour. My vote is for the board. Um, he'll look. He'll look at Stipe and Fussful um, as an old man. Starwell. Uh, Stipe. Stipe will nod slowly. I've never been off the rock for any period of time. Might be time I tried. Hmm. Uh, Jack Jackson will. Uh, he's obviously very excited. But like, I mean, I've never been on the boat with uh, two dead men. I mean, I mean, really with anyone, but. Uh, you know, kind of look. At, he's talking to Stipe when he says this, and he doesn't really get that this is like he's just excited. You know, he doesn't really get that it's a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, old man Stipe will say he'll say curiously. So, who paid for your resurrection then? Raise dead's not a cheap uh, ritual. We can't say. I'm assuming well, the woman who the hired us paid time. for it, but uh, yes. I don't actually know who that is. You are also geared not Some to uh, give big details wig. of that meeting either. Yeah, you can, a rich person is probably reasonable. That doesn't oh, yes. make the gay, so I think it's fair to say. But yeah, none of you can say anything about the person who hired you functioning um, via the gear. I genuinely don't know anything about the person who hired us. Can, yeah, no, can no, we stop. say that we are <laughs> no, under the gear? Can, can, can we say that we are under um, gear? I think you can. I think you can, sir. I think you can say you are not, you are not able to say. Yeah. I just I can't say. He'll just shrug and he'll look curious at you and shrug. I think he'll be like, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> says, well, it's, uh, you've got friends like Cora. Literally a bar. Friends rich enough to get you rest and uh, Cora Sormond. Um, you're either going places or well, going places like the Jettison. <laughs> Indeed. Either way, I don't know for <laughs> sure, and I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, he says, oh, "I heard a story where you should look it because otherwise there might be warriors with." Uh, Swords and shields and stuff. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, he'll uh, how, he'll how not on you fitting a warrior inside a horse. Uh, he, <laughs> That's he'll easy. Point to and says, it's one of their legends. It's one of their legends. These uh, planar Olympians. Though you'd have to look in the horse's You've got belly to take the squishy one, bits out yes. first. <laughs> he'll nod and say, "Oh no, fair point, fair point." Um, yeah, he'll uh, yeah he he will uh, say that there's. Um, he's got some ideas. We should uh, do. We should finish training soon before finishing uh, for the night. But uh, I just, I just set, check what ideas he might present now. Obviously, it's not something we're going to worry about. Probably because ne in two weeks' time we'll be playing Dark Sum. Yeah. Um, we're starting formally starting our Mysteries of Athos game, so we'll be back on the rock in a few months' time. So we're not. This is not something we need to. Uh, Immediately decide everything on the work, everything else on. Um, but yeah, let's just check. Uh, yeah, uh, he. Um, 
yeah, possibly go and uh, there's some, yeah, salvage for some wrecks. There are a number of wrecks in the nearby part of the system, as in, on the approach to the rock, so you're not going too far out from that ring. Um, yeah, could do deliveries to asteroids if you can find work. Could go f pishing, it's called. I Pish are basically space fish. It's uh, meant to be a funny name. No one actually laughs at it. Uh, um, yeah, could funny. do survey work. Basically, you could go and pitch yourselves as surveyors for survey work. I don't suppose we have the option to commit war crimes against a so, server. Those are ideas. He's... <laughs> I mean, we would have that option. Um, I don't know if he'll, he'll, plan. <laughs> he'll, he'll look and say, uh, we'll work up to it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll hold you through that. Um, yeah, he'll say he will say that he'll not he will consider that and says that is a danger though. The squirrel are a lot more active, and though uh, they technically have an arrangement with Prince Andrew, um, I wouldn't guarantee that they'll uh, keep to it if they can see some easy prey. We'd best not look like easy prey then. No. Uh, yeah, he'll say he'll say possibly once we've got some capital, he'll say that possibly be a good idea to get a weapon, like as in a ship weapon, on the star sail. Uh, yes, but... it's not even armed. Cannons. Uh, it's, it's, not it's, armed. it's very quick. Oh, it, it is quick. No, it's right. it's a, it's a, it, yeah, it's a racing yacht. Yeah, oh, but, okay. and this is the point: is the comparison to SR is he is a lot quicker than you would be because your SR is terrible. <laughs> um, he's a lot quicker than you would be, basically. Cool. Okay. Um, Flynn, do you want to roll? What's high your whiz or int? This is for training. My inch by a lot. <clears throat> <laughs> Great. Um, yeah. Want to just roll roll under my int? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's d20. Uh, I did it. <laughs> yeah. No, you finish your training. Uh, that would be within a week. And first full. Um, don't roll, what's your spell, your wisdom or your int? Uh, wisdom's 12 to 11 int. <clears throat> so, yep, you're rolling against 12. Might take longer, obviously. It only takes another week per fail, like it's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cor Chorus is, uh, is like, you really are an idiot, aren't you, as he's uh, <laughs> trying to test you through some of these shadowing techniques. Uh, you spent another week and it had a plus one bonus, so you'll be at 13. Okay. Um, he will offer to uh, teach you uh, some extra tricks as you go. Um, you know, he, say, he says reluctantly as you're training, like, you know, you're not completely worthless. You're very good at standing still. That's what I think, anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, do you want to roll again? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, a month later. Uh, so Flynn has been going around causing trouble in bars and being an amazing swashbuckler at second level. <laughs> and Fistful is just like out all the time with Chorus Ormond, uh, who uh, is just constantly horrible to him. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can roll your d6 for hit points, Fistful. And you can both do it off stream, but you can both add to your <laughs> skills. Nice. But yeah, chorus will offer to uh, if you keep proving if you pro keep proving yourself, he will teach you a few skills. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Second level feels good. Yeah, five hit points is nice. <laughs> I was going to say with two. five hit points, that's pretty useful. I had two before. I I would die if you breathed on me too hard. Yeah. Jay, do you want to roll your uh, d6 for hit points? Oh, it's alright. Yeah. Uh, no, that's cool. Okay, then. Well, I guess... I don't think the Major can have his... Uh, Andrew's not... Yeah, Andrew's back in Discord. I'm here, uh, the Major can have his armour, so make sure to improve your AC. Okay. Um... Yeah, were you planning? Well, yeah, what were you doing about spells? Anything or nothing right now? Um, not right now. I think you know we'll, we'll let, do, do you know wait for another job or two to go. Yeah, I guess when you're looking to level up, go and be like, I want to apprentice. I want to learn more and get spells. Then 
Yeah. Makes sense. Or, or, or maybe uh, we do like a high paying job that doesn't level us up, that doesn't level me up. I might. Yes. Then just go and yeah, you might as well, even though you're not leveling up. Um, and uh, yeah, Stipe. Anything else from Stipe or the Major or yeah, or Flynn or Fistful? Stipe Oops, is just, just gazing yeah. at the stars and pondering. Hmm. No, well, probably when Fussful is ready, I, and because Flynn is really quicker, but though, albeit it'll still be like day 17 at that point or something like that. Um, but uh, when Fussful is ready, I guess you'll have arranged, and we'll sort this out in a couple of months, but yeah, you'll have arranged what you're going to do and be off on a star sail to go and find what you may find amongst the stars. Cool. Yay. Yay. All right. Cool. Okay, then. Well, we will... Be playing again. We'll be playing Mysteries of Athos in two weeks, where you are dune traders, uh, going to become archaeologists and scavengers. Maybe you could call your your dune trader like your 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 caravan the star sail or something. <laughs> but you are off to scavenge um, and uh, find out the mysteries of Athos and its ruins in two weeks' time. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. okay. Yep. Thanks, guys. Uh, no. I will, I need to end the stream, we'll end it, give me a moment, we'll end it there.